Psalm 2 says, Why do the nations rage and the people plot in vain? The kings of the earth set themselves and the rulers take counsel together against the Lord and against his anointed, saying, Let us burst their bonds apart and cast away their cords from us. He who sits in the heavens laughs. The Lord holds them in derision. Psalms 1 and 2 do a great job at setting up the purpose and the tone of the book of Psalms. Psalm 1 tells us that the happy life is found in delighting in and obeying God's word. And Psalm 2 has a very simple message. God reigns. Our God is the king. Now, it recognizes that sometimes it doesn't exactly look that way. And there's going to be adversity and even conflicting forces that seem to shake their fist at the heavens and get away with it. But the psalm writer is letting us in on the truth behind the scenes. God laughs. Don't you love that? It, it's not like he hears what they're doing and then he gets worried and just makes a better plan. He laughs. He thinks it's hysterical. He thinks it's funny that any power that thinks that it could get in God's way, it's a laughable idea because our God is so mighty. Our God is in control, no matter what the circumstances might otherwise indicate. But probably my favorite part of the psalm comes later. It's in verses 7 and 8, and it says this, The Lord said to me, You are my son. Today I have begotten you. Ask of me, and I will make the nations your heritage and the ends of the earth your possession. See, it's my favorite because this gets referenced as talking about Jesus over and over in the New Testament. Not only does it show that Psalm 2 sees God as the king, but it sheds light on the fact that our king came to earth. This is speaking directly of Jesus, the eternal Son of God who came first to die and to resurrect and then will come again in order to set everything right, no matter what the kings and powers and evil effects in this world say otherwise. And he's going to take all of this earth as his own. So God's not only the king invisibly now, but he is a king coming. Well, how are we supposed to respond? Well, the psalm tells us how, what to do as well. The very last verse says, Blessed are all who take refuge in him. It really means that we'll find great joy by trusting in him. So let us find joy in those truths. We have a king who's in control now, and he's coming to make all things good. So let's make him the one that we trust for today.